armor is running the personnel on the side. Uh, most of the assets have been here, as you can see. We just unloaded one of the new trucks that are inbound to us. Uh, from there, uh, we have PLS systems that can actually go high water, go places where you can't put the civilian contractor trucks. Uh, we pushed out six of those this morning. Uh, we've got six more ready to go. They should go out here shortly. So we're just trying to help back up the test we can. I'm out of uh, Charlotte Douglas, um, the 145th Air Wing in Charlotte. It's the Air National Guard base. Okay. And can you tell me, I, I understand that you're, you're the one who kind of initially set up operations here with the, with the 11 people. <laughs> That's what I was hoping too. If we came out here on Tuesday, last Tuesday, I don't know the date off the top of my head, the 10th. And uh, we came here and that was when it was pretty hectic. Up. We, uh, we, uh, we stood up everything here. We, uh, we were allocated this hangar and uh, we were standing by and we rode the hurricane out in this hurt or in this hangar over here and we were just making sure everything was keeping 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 the wheels turning uh, we moved generators make sure all the operation centers were up and going made sure to keep, keep the lights on for, for all the communication and from all the different all the different military entities and the FEMA efforts going on here because the hurricane hit pretty hard here and it stayed here for a while. It stayed here for two or three days. And, uh, so that now that um, now that we're, our mission's kind of changed, uh, now we're actually doing our job when it comes to we're getting a lot of supplies and we're moving them out. As you saw, uh, that helicopter just, take, just took off. And have you been on a, a few runs taking supplies out to places that were the worst? Yes, I actually just took a run this morning and uh, I flew over Trenton, and it was it was pretty tough watching. Uh, there's a there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of destruction over there. We uh, we actually diverted, and uh, because we saw a man on his roof waving us down, and so we diverted, and uh, I, I believe the, and we got the coordinates for that, and now they're in a center response team. Eventually, I'm not sure when, but uh, that's that's not exactly my job. We're just here. Uh, we're here uh, make, getting the supplies on the aircraft and getting them out to the people that need them that are stranded. Sure. And in terms of the logistics of actually dropping the stuff off, is it basically you're just lowering it down without landing and, and going, or do you land anywhere? So, so we're helping the, 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 the helicopter crews out. We take a ride with them, and then we just offload it by hand. Uh, a, couple of pal or, uh, a, a few thousand pounds of... Uh, water and food and uh, we've been doing that for the past couple days now uh, going to all over the east coast or eastern carolina excuse me uh, and dropping off supplies to the, to the different towns that need them that are cut off yeah. about do you know about how many runs you've been on at this point i've personally only been on two when i took a ride on blackhawk dropped, dropped some supplies off there and then i took a ride on a chinook drop some supplies off and uh, both, I went to Brunswick both times but we've been everywhere. We went, we went to, just, just everywhere. Anywhere anywhere that needs help. Uh, but we've ran more than thirty helicopter missions so far. And it's and they're uh, they're tasking us with more and more. I know when I took off from North Brunswick High School, uh, we dropped off uh, about a couple thousand pounds of supplies. And uh, when we took off, everybody waved, and that was pretty. Uh, that felt good. It feels good to help out. Uh, this mission right here, it, it feels. It. Uh, I've been. I've been on a lot of deployments in the Middle East, and uh, it feels good to be here. It feels good to be here in North Carolina, helping out my home state. So. Uh, so yeah, that. It, and then when I saw that man on his roof, it struck me. As, so it's good to. It, this situation is terrible, but it's good to help out and help the people that need it.